This video is brought to you by Biznet. For more information, go to biznet.com.au. In this video, we're going to look at um, double-clicking element names and data points. So let's go back to the pivot table we've been using. If we double-click on, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see this happen. If we double-click on one of the activities, charts and tables, uh, the pivot table asks us which field we want to drill into. So we've got a choice of all these different dimensions, all these different fields that we can drill into for more information. In this case, I'm going to pick event name. And there we have all of the different event names that belong to charts and table. If we double click that, they collapse back into the parent dimension. Double click them again, and here they appear. So that's what happens when you double click on elements within the dimensions. If you double click on a cell or a data point, um, that was a boring one, so let's pick a more interesting one. Let's collapse that and double click on this data point. What Excel will do is it will go through and show you all the raw data from uh, the cube or from the data screen that um, relates to that one data point which can be very helpful if you want to do some in-depth analysis. Um, and you can delete that worksheet uh, because it's easy enough to get it back just by double clicking on that data point again. So the great thing there is if you're looking at um, aggregated information and you're not sure how a number uh, got there, you can just double click on it and you'll see all the information buried within that number. A very handy trick to know.